let's suppose a is having a size m cross n then if this is the case then which of the following is true about the solutions of a x equal to b if if m and n or, or both are equal then uh, rank is n if rank is n then it means every every column is having a pivot right every column is having a pivot this is a pivot this is a pivot this is a pivot every row is having pivot and b whatever b you have it will be looking like this and you will say that uh, I mean, since every every row or every column is having a pivot, then uh, I think this is a unique solution, right? There, there should not be any confusion. There is exactly one solution. Is this clear to everyone? Because uh, because every row and every column is having pivot, there is no zero rows or something. So uh, you you can easily solve it. So this B will not be having any extra because the dimension of B is same as the dimension of uh, this uh, columns of A. So B will be just having something. So this is a unique solution. Very easy question, right? Okay. Uh, so I think uh, what is the answer here? B. Cool. Let's just solve this. Consider matrix A, M cross N size. If the rank of A is N, then which of the following is true about the uh, solutions of X equal to B? A cross M size. They are saying the rank of A is N, which means every column has a pivot. Every column has a pivot. So this is the column. This is the column. Okay. These three columns, let's suppose, have the pivot. Uh, every row need not to have the pivot. So uh, you can have the zero rows, right? You can have zero rows. This is something like this. I mean, you can have many zero rows basically, right? I mean, you do not have something like this because then this column will not be having a pivot. So uh, below this last pivot, you can have many zeros. So situation is something like this, right? Now what they are saying that what the uh, true about the solution of x equal to b may exist, right? Uh, you do not know. You it depends on the b. So whatever b you are bringing, whatever b you are bringing will be something like this. Will be as as good as 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 long as this a columns of a uh, vector of a. So uh, so it depends on this, right? Maybe zero may not be zero. So it depends on B. If if let's have let's have two cases. If this is non-zero, then there is no solution. So you will say there is either no solution. It depends on B actually, right? Are you getting me? If this is zero, then if this is zero, then it means do you have the free uh, do you have the free variable? Tell me here. Do you have the free variable here? Let me know if you have the free variable. If this is zero, then uh, then there is a solution definitely. But uh, infinity solution or or not, it depends on the free variable. Do you have the free variable? I think no, right? You do not have the free variable because every one is every column is a pivot. Don't look at the row, okay? See, don't do these these mistakes. Don't look at the row. Always look at the column for the free variable and the pivot variable. You do not have the free variable because free variable is x three equal to k or something, right? So you 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 talk about this x one, x two, x three whether they are free or not. So that's why you will say that there are no free variable. That's why unique solution. So either there is unique solution or there are uh, okay. There is a unique solution, exactly one solution, or there is no solution, right? Zero or one solution. Yeah. So C is the answer, right? So C is the answer. Either there is zero solution or one solution. Let's do more questions so that so that you are more comfortable with these kind of. Things. Suppose if rank of A is M, then what does this mean? Every row has a pivot. Okay, this is one row which is having one pivot. This is another row which is having pivot, right? And uh, I mean every row is having actually a pivot. Now, uh, now since there is no zero rows, now tell me, can you have the uh, free column, free variables here? I think you can definitely have the free variables, right? Let's suppose uh, this column may not be having a pivot. This column may not be having. Yeah, you can have, you can append the zeros, so you can have the free variable. Okay. So since every row is having a pivot, there is there cannot be zero rows, right? There can, in the A there cannot be zero rows. So zero 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 non zero in the B uh, you cannot bring the non zero because there is no zero here. So the solution always exists because zero 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 non zero cannot be the case. You are getting my point? See every row has a pivot means there is no zero rows. So zero 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 is not even the case. So oh, let's not talk about the it is non zero or not, right? So you will say that there is always a solution if every row has a pivot. If it, it means every row has a pivot, there is always a solution. Will there be an infinite solution or uh, or finite solution? It depends on the free variable, right? Uh, or there can also be a free variable. So uh, either it is a infinite solution or a unique solution. So I think infinite solutions or the unique solutions, right? Uh, see, yeah, I think I'm right, right? Can there be no solution? Okay, so what do you think? Let me know. I suppose that it should be infinite or let me just see the answer there. There are infinite solutions. Okay, 
um why there is no so oh uh, sorry uh, there is one condition that i missed here m is not equal to n m is not equal to n. okay there is one condition that i missed here so uh, uh assume this condition right now let's just answer this question so uh, 0 0 0 non zero cannot exist now just tell me can the extra zeros exist see extra extra columns also cannot exist if there are three three rows and three columns only sorry extra extra column has to exist extra column has to exist because uh, m is not equal to n so at least one extra column will be there so that's why there are, there are infinitely many solutions yeah, it was a nice question right the m not equal to n means there is at least one extra column because if there are three rows three rows then not just three columns not just three columns there is one extra column because m is not equal to n since there is there has to be one extra column that's why a is the answer which is infinitely many solutions okay cool i hope you understood that's the answer actually these are the easy questions so that's why i'm just i mean easy and interesting actually i'm sure that uh, without proper understanding you won't be able to do it now what they are saying if rank of a is less than m and n which means they are saying that uh, you have let's suppose three uh, three rows and three columns so there are zero rows because not every every row is having uh, having a pivot and uh, since rank of a is less than n there are definitely a zero column because not not every column is having a pivot so your a is, look, is looking like this i mean uh, there are zero definitely zero rows and zero columns right if if this is less than m which means not every row is having a pivot not every column is having a pivot so it is something like this and now you bring b now you bring b now if you bring b you might bring non zero here right you might bring non zero here so it means that it means that uh, solution could be no solution and suppose you are bringing b which is actually zeros then there is there is always an infinite solution right there is always an infinite either no solution or infinite solution so i think d is the correct okay that is also a nice question all of these questions are formulated by me which means like uh, uh, i just uh, thought through it that what should i put here so all of these questions you will not find it anywhere all of these variations i for just formulated by for, for the sake of uh, explanation and i hope you are liking those variations it take a lot of you know thinking just to come up with the idea that what to do so d is the correct answer here now there are two questions which is uh, gate 90 uh, 1996 question and this is gate uh, this is gate 2016 question so there are two questions which are nice question let's just do one thing let's just spend some time in that okay i just ask you to spend some time in that and then i will be solving these two questions in the next lecture so just comment out what whatever your thought process it is right just comment out just let me know that what you thought about this question what you thought about this question let me know that how your thought process is going on while you are uh, you are watching the lecture how you are coming up with the solution just let me know just try it yourself so that it is a better it is better practice to you and now you will be solving these gate questions right these are not straightforward questions but once you understand uh, these these things are how i am solving the question whenever someone is saying rank is less than m i am immediately saying that okay not every row is having pivot whenever someone is saying rank is rank of a is less than n i am immediately saying that okay not every column is having a pivot so that's how i'm i'm solving these questions so similarly i'm just asking you to solve these two questions 